Jesse and Sibu Explore the Forest Written and illustrated by Tanya Blichnot Read with permission Jesse and Sibu are friends. They love to play together, talk together, laugh together, and explore together. One day they go into the forest. The forest is all around their homes, but they have never been into it on their own. Today they decide to go exploring. We must remember to be careful. Everyone says it can be scary in here, even though it's fun. JC agrees. They don't know enough about it yet. They see lots of things in the forest. Butterflies, birds, flowers, fairies. Everything looks so colourful and bright. One fairy stops nearby and tells them the rules of the forest. Never tell anyone your real name or where you really live. Stay away from the trolls. Keep track of where you have been so that you can find your way back if you get lost. Don't take anything out of the forest unless your grown-ups tell you it's okay. The fairy warns the children about the dangers of the forest. Monsters or trolls can follow you home if you're not careful. Thank you, the children say. The two children start exploring. They feel a lot safer now that they know what to do and what not to do. They explore and discover new things no matter where they look. Then they hear a noise. Quietly the children creep along until they see a group of trolls. They argue, they shout, they say mean things and laugh. They laugh even louder if they see someone crying. All this noise startles Sibu and Jesse. They are about to run away when they notice that the trolls don't do anything except shout and argue. Some of the trolls even speak to them. They make jokes and Sibu and Jesse start to think that maybe they are not so bad. But Sibu is still not sure about the trolls. They are scary, and Sibu remembers the fairy warning them that the trolls can be very dangerous. Jesse enjoys the jokes and the laughing, and even tries to argue with the trolls. Sibu begins to realise that they really are in danger. Jesse is shouting and joking, but the jokes are becoming less funny and more mean. And Sibu is sad and scared because Jesse is starting to look like a troll. Sibu doesn't know what to do. They have been friends for so long, but now Jesse has changed completely. Sibu tries to speak to Jesse, but Jesse just shouts back, arguing and saying mean things. Sibu is sad and scared, and doesn't know what to do. The fairy told them the rules, but Jesse has still become a troll. What now? Sibu runs home to get help. At home, Sibu's mom listens to the whole story. She is proud of Sibu for being so careful, even if she's not really happy that the children went into the forest on their own. She thinks back to the stories her mom told her when she was young, and then she smiles at Sibu. I have an idea, she says. Sibu goes back to the forest with a plan, and a special thing that might just stop Jesse from being a troll. Walking slowly and carefully, Sibu listens for the sound of arguing. At last, Asibu hears the shouting and laughing. Surely Jesse and the trolls are nearby. 
Cebu finds Jessie mocking a crying fairy. Hey Jessie, I found the best joke. Jessie runs closer, excited to see something new to laugh at. Cebu holds out the mirror. Jessie looks in the mirror and gets a huge fright. It's a troll! Oh no, it's me! How did I become a troll? It happened little by little, so by the time I realised what had happened, it was too late. Jessie looks around. Fairies are crying. Trolls are arguing. Jessie starts crying. Oh no, I hurt so many people. I can't believe I thought it was fun. I shouldn't say horrible things to people just because they don't know me. How will I make things right? Jessie looks at the fairy and at Cebu. You're right, I have to do something. For the rest of the day, Jessie and Cebu walk around the forest. Jessie goes back and apologises to everyone who was hurt by the mean jokes. Some of the fairies are too scared to say anything, in case this is another joke. But most of them thank Jessie for trying to make things right. At the end of the day, the two friends leave the forest and head home. What do you want to do tomorrow? I'm not ready to go back to the forest yet, but maybe we can go to the library together. That sounds like a great idea. Maybe the library will have a map we can use so we don't get lost again. The end.